Scary moment DL Hewley passes out mid stand-up routine Lynn DL. Hewley was in the middle of performing his stand-up routine at Zany's Comedy Nightclub in Nashville, Tennessee on June 19, when the comedian suddenly passed out and fell to the ground. Hewley, 57, can be heard saying, they were immigrants before his voice trails off and the audience starts gasping. Someone quickly runs out on stage to assist Hewley, but he slides off his stool and hits his head on the stage floor. Two men are then seen dragging Yuli off the stage. Video of the scary incident quickly went viral on Twitter, with fans sending out their prayers that he's okay. Prior to the show, Yuli was hyping his performance on Instagram. He shared a clip from the Jeffersona and wrote, Got your white friends showing out Yuli, one of the original four big kings of comedy, is a prolific writer, actor, and producer. He's starred in numerous films such as Inspector Gadget, Scary Movie, Spy School, and just wrapped working on Timothy Scott Bogart's upcoming film, Spinning Gold. Off screen, he's been married to wife LaDonna since 1986, with whom he shares three children. One look at Hewley's Instagram page, and it's clear that he's been following every development and incident following the death of George Floyd. While promoting his new book, Surrender, White People. Our unconditional terms for peace, on Sirius' The Joe Madison Show, he opened up about the current state of the nation and the removing statues of Confederate leaders. If we want people to see our struggle and come to our aid, we need to do it when it's not necessarily our fight either," Hewley said. To say it's America and black people have had a very violent relationship, but it's like a marriage where you've had a violent relationship, but you've decided to move on, but the brutalizer wants to keep all the images of the damage and terror and brutality. Hewley was particularly passionate about the need for Washington, D.C.'s football franchise to change the team's name. And, the Redskins, it's just as disgusting and just as denigrating as the N-word in my estimation," he said. And I think that if we stopped playing for them, we stopped supporting their gang. Let me tell you, without black people, football would be rugby. And it is one of the clearest examples of how powerful we are. In 2018, Hewley published a book titled, How Not to Get Shot and other advice from white people, which became a New York Times bestseller. His first New York Times bestseller was published in 2017 Black Man, White House. An oral history of the Obama years.